running on top of the efferent branchial arteries here, the pharyngeal esophageal, yeah, pharyngeal esophageal arteries here, okay? Um, just above the first efferent branchial artery here, and I just say first for reference, but you don't have to know the numbers, the, are the um, paired dorsal aortas. This one's not a good specimen, but they're really little and run up like this, okay? Then going over from here, this is our hyoidean artery here. The stapedial artery branches off here just above the spiracle. And then below the spiracle is the afferent spiracular artery above the spiracle, right, right here. And above the stapedial artery is the efferent spiracular artery. So efferent spiracular artery, stapedial, hyoidean, afferent spiracular artery here. Okay, the hyoidean comes up here after the stapedial artery branches off, it's then internal carotids here and here and here. That's all internal carotid. The corresponding external carotid is basically runs from this side all the way over here. So it's kind of on the other side of the um, spiracle here and going to the edge of the mouth. That's the um, external carotid arteries. Okay, so now we're moving back here. Um, remember, pharyngoesophageal artery. This is our last efferent branchial arteries going into our large dorsal aorta that runs down the length of the spine. Okay, one of the main branches, the first main branch after the efferent branchial arteries is the subclavian artery here going to the pectoral fin. The first branch off of it is the lateral artery. Okay, it's another artery over a branch, the ventral lateral, lateral artery, and then it becomes the branchial artery as it goes to the, to the pe um, pectoral fin. This large branch here going kind of towards the testes and the organs is the celiac with a C. Um, artery. We'll also see that from the other view. As the dorsal aortas go down here, um, you can also see this dark line on either side. That's the corresponding vein, the posterior cardinal veins. These little arteries coming off the dorsal aorta are called segmental arteries. Then you can see these small arteries along the testes here. Those are testicular arteries. If it was a female, those would be ovarian arteries. So we're gonna follow our celiac artery here. Remove this lobe of the liver so we can see all of this. Okay, so for reference, here's our J-shaped stomach. Here's our liver. There's quite a bit of um, artery and vein information in this little area, okay? So this is our celiac artery coming up here. Then our gastric artery branches off over here towards the stomach. Gastrohepatic is a small little branch here that then splits down into pancreaticomesenteric artery and up into the hepatic artery. This large yellow vein coming down here is the hepatic portal vein, okay? Uh, you can't see it very well, but this little, there's a little vein here, and that is the linomesenteric vein and it continues on to the dorsal lobe of the pancreas over here, and that is the linomesenteric vein along the dorsal lobe of the pancreas, okay? Remember, this is our stomach here. You can see the gastric arteries on the stomach. This is our pyloric region of the stomach. This is our duodenum. So underneath the pyloric region of the stomach are the pyloric arteries and veins and that comes around here, wraps around on the duodenum. Those are the duodenal arteries and veins are kind of exploded, um, ruptured latex here. This is the beginning of our valvular intestine here where we've got our ventral lobe of our pancreas for reference. Um, inside the valvular intestine are the intraintestinal arteries here. They also have been ruptured, so it's a little bit hard to see in this specimen. Okay. So here's our spleen, here's a pyloric region of our stomach, kind of flip that inside out. Again, on the dorsal lobe of the pancreas is a linomesenteric vein. This is our spleen, this is the backside of our stomach. So this vein here is the lino, sorry, posterior linogastric vein, 
kind of makes a U shaped here. And then this branch here is the anterior linogastric vein. It's kind of going over to um, the uh, uh, anterior intestinal artery. And it actually is the same one, but once it's on the actual valvular intestine, it's called the anterior intestinal artery. When it's over here, it's called the anterior linogastric um, vein, right, and artery. And this is anterior intestinal vein and artery. Similarly, with the linogastric, sorry, posterior linogastric vein, once it's actually on the valvular intestine, it's called the um, posterior intestinal vein. You can see the artery comes from a different origin over here. So remember our dorsal aorta runs down the spine here. Remember this is our spleen, this is our stomach. This branch coming off here towards those organs is the gastrosplenic artery. This branch coming off here is the anterior mesenteric artery. Once it's on the intestine, it's called the posterior intestinal artery and vein. Okay, so we've got posterior intestinal artery and vein here on the lower and dorsal part of the valvular intestine, and up here it's anterior intestinal artery and vein. Here it's posterior intestinal artery and vein. Okay, so if we're looking in this view, then we've got our rectal gland here. We've got anterior, sorry, gastrosplenic artery, um, anterior mesenteric artery, and then the one going to the rectal gland here is posterior mesenteric artery. Okay. Um, some of the last ones here on the actual body wall here in front of the pelvic fin is the posterior epigastric artery and then on either side here so now we're just like just around like the rectum area there will be a medial branch on either side going in and that's the iliac artery and then you can't really see it very well in this specimen but if that posterior epigastric artery continued here as it went down towards the fins after this um, iliac artery branch, it would be called the femoral artery, okay? The reason why this is called iliac, you remember back all the way to the skeletal section in the hip area, you had ilium, ischium, and pubic bone, right? So that's why this is called the iliac artery. Obviously the main bone associated with the um, hind limb is the femur, so that's why this is called the femoral um, artery going to the pelvic fin. Okay, and we're done.